Right, okay, thank you for joining the Average Golfer. I'm back down here at Four Golf Chester, and I'm going to do a little bit of an impromptu video, not one I expected to, not one that was planned to do, but my eye was drawn to what I thought was a new driver from Ping on the shelf. It's a new driver from Ping, but it's for ladies. It's a ladies golf club, it's a GLE2, I think is the name of it. They've got driver, they've got hybrid, they've got six hybrid, they've got three woods, they've got seven iron, all to test. I might even go and take them out on the course, because I'm intrigued. What happens when a man tries out a lady set of golf clubs. Right, okay, so first and foremost, the serious element of this video is this. Ping have manufactured an absolutely superb set of ladies golf clubs, as you ladies will know. Um, but from a male perspective, I've never picked one up and tried to hit it until 15 minutes ago. And it's got me questioning. They're ultra light shaft and light shaft. They are incredibly light. I've done videos similar questioning whether us men should be using lighter graphite shafts, potentially increasing club head speed and maybe increasing therefore ball speeds but more importantly, getting some more consistent numbers, swinging easy and finding fairways. Will that be the case? Only one way to find out, get that camera out there. I'm gonna hit golf balls with every one of these and record some data. And like I said, I might even take these out on the golf course, depending on what the results of this test is. Right, so first and foremost, as you might expect from Ping, it's a decent looking set of clubs. It's got a color that would appeal, I would think, any more to the, uh, the ladies out there than it would do to the males. But you can tell it's got very much, we've got turbulators, we've got very much the same things that we would see in the men's set in the G410. The iron isn't too dissimilar in looks, and neither is the hybrid that I've got in hand three with nor the driver. And they're all the clubs that we're going to test today. The big difference for me is the lightness in the shaft. And we've got two shafts we've got an ultra light and we've got a light shaft. And I'll throw you the weights on these for all uh, from iron. So they're all graphite, graphite shaft in the eye of the driver. I'll throw you the weights on each of those as we test them out. And there's a huge difference in weight, massive. And what it tends to do, and like I said, I've done videos similar to this in the past, is it tends to make you just swing that little bit easier. So you don't feel as though you're having to generate any power. It becomes almost a concentration on rhythm, a concentration on timing. And with a club head speed that a lot of us generate, average swing speeds, I just wonder whether or not we should be considering, not ladies clubs maybe, but certainly these lighter shafts. And this is an extreme case uh, with these ping irons. I'm going to start off by hitting some seven irons. With all this, I'm going to gather some data. We'll do it like we do every other test. Um, but the intrigue for me, like I said, from a practice shot that I hit is that when you swing the club, to me, it just encourages to just swing it nice and easy. Uh, and like I said, that can be done with any sort of very, very light graphite shaft that's out there on the marketplace. Um, it seems slightly shorter in length, again, I'll throw that up and check that to be the case. But if I step up to the ball, I got that a little bit heavy, but it's still gone out there. And it's straight. And a lot of the balls I hit off camera, leading up to thinking, well, I might actually do this test, is that I've had, I, I didn't pull, better. I didn't put a great deal on any of these and again the ball just seems to fire out there and more importantly it stays very straight. So how many of you play a light shaft? How many of you play a shaft that is suited? I can't believe how these feel. I can't believe the kind of what they encourage me to do. Believe me I've hit all these like I said off camera. Um, and I can't believe how they change my mentality in terms of the ball flight is incredibly high, it pops the ball up, but again, this is a six iron, 30 degrees worth of lock, it gets the ball so high, the carry distances that I was achieving was quite phenomenal, I'll get like I said a full set of numbers. How many of you are using the correct shaft just one there, how many of you would think that you might be more suited to a much lighter shaft? How many of you have tried something as light as this? And could this be the way forward for a lot of guys? 
Well, so we've got some numbers collected on both uh, the iron and the hybrid, and like I said, they're pretty impressive. Uh, in fact, the likes of the six hybrid, and we'll go through the numbers in a bit, the likes of the six hybrid, the thing that interests me is just the ball flight on it. It fires the ball so high. I don't play, and again, a lot of you may, I don't know, but I'm traditionally, I'm, a, I'm an iron player. I don't play really through choice any hybrids, but again, you just question how much easier it is to get around the golf ball and score lower with the, that kind of setup in your bag, a six hybrid. This is a 19 degree three wood. Once again, oh, it's quite a nice start. The sound again is, it's, it's, uh, if I was reviewing the clubs, I'd review them in the same way as I did the G410 range. They've got a similar sort of loud crack to them. It's not something that I would call soft. It's quite a hard thing, but we're not really reviewing. I'm not here to review GLE2 ladies clubs. I'm here to look at the concept of putting on and I do And honestly, I swear the clubs that I have hit all for the last half an hour since I've been testing these off camera, I've very rarely done, there's a slight change, I'll get to that one here driver in a minute because there is a slight difference as we move along. But I've already missed, and again, it's absolutely bullet straight. Great ball flight, 19 degrees, three wood, so very weak in terms of loft. So again, we're seeing something, that we're at. how many people have got a 19 degree three wood out there? How many of us would benefit from a 19 degree three wood? Um, it just literally pops the ball up, gets it airborne, like I said, I don't know what you can see from the swing that I'm putting on these. It's a very easy swing. I notice with some on the hybrid and the seven eye, I'm still generating a lot of club head speed based on the fact that maybe just this lighter shaft and ball speeds aren't dropping off that great either. So at the minute, that three wood, you question yourself, I'd be interested, if I went out on a golf course, how well would I play, how well would I score with a set of ladies golf clubs? It's a big, it's a big deal. We, we get so shut off by what we should or shouldn't do, what we're told to do. Players irons, game improvement irons, ladies clubs, everything is categorized and we sort of put ourselves into a pigeonhole. And you just wonder if you just open yourselves up a little bit at times. And I think, like I said, not, I'm not suggesting men play ladies clubs. What I'm suggesting is from this video is that we maybe should be considering these ultra light shafts, which I'm sure there's plenty available. In, uh, in the men's clubs as well. On to driver, very much again like, um, there's nothing wrong with that. Decent ball flights again, this particular driver head I've got 11 and a half, I'll turn it down to 10. It's got the light shaft in again, it's shorter shaft, I'll throw those, uh, that bit of information up, I should have that already, but I'll throw that information up, it's definitely shorter shaft than the men's. Um, Again, got that control element. The one thing I would say uh, for me personally, and I swing it, uh, so my driver, club head speed and normally is around um, sort of um, 97 mile an hour. Um, I wouldn't put that into this sort of light shaft as such, because I tend to be getting a little bit turning it over. Well, there's no wrong with that. If I could maintain that kind of nice, easy rhythm, that ball is literally just fired out there. That's just that, that's perfect. It's just it's just encouraging tempo and rhythm. Um, and because like I don't feel as though I'm doing anything to go after it at all. All I'm concentrating on is a nice stable swing. I've just pulled that one just down the left a bit. Um, but that's all my focus has been on. It's just about nice and easy rhythmical swing. And the club head do the work. I'm generating more enough club head speed. That lighter shaft seems to be doing. And then are we getting ball speeds off and are we getting distance? But more importantly, are we finding fairways? So, I'll carry on. I'll get the seed golf balls out and get some proper data. I'll get it collected for all those. And then I'll see just how my numbers are fared up to what I might have normally hit with a men's set of items, with my set of items. Right, so like we do any review, let's end it by looking at some numbers. And I've got more than happy enough with the data I collected. Hit the ball reasonably well. I'll start off with 7-iron. And with most golf products, there's always something that throws a spanner in the works in terms of an anomaly. And I think that this has really been a strange one in terms of an eye-opener and what performance you can get out of a ladies' club using light shaft or possibly even ultra-light shaft. 
The 7 iron is the one that will absolutely blow your mind, well it blow mine anyway. Uh, 85.4 mile an hour in terms of average club head speed with a ball speed of 125.3. Spinning at 5.8 on average and a 177 yard carry. I don't even know what to say to that because to be honest with you, in terms of um, where that ball has gone, I find absolutely incredible. I'm stuck for words because, listen, I'll tell you, I'm on Trackman. Trackman has been literally, I'm questioning it myself. It's like, it's an incredible number. Absolutely incredible number. It's probably the number that sticks out in terms of uh, average at launch angle 19.1. Peak height was 116 feet. This thing went into absolute orbit. And believe me, the way that's coming down with that kind of spin number, that's incredible. Anyway, we move on. Six hybrid this was. Uh, six hybrid, 89.6 in terms of club head speed. Ball speed 131, which again, it was very consistent off the face there uh, in terms of the ball speed. Six, six, eight, nine spin. So this thing is stopping. Uh, 181 on average carry with a six hybrid. Again, incredible at this stage. Three wood was the next one. There's a five wood as well. I didn't bother hitting the five wood, but there's a three wood thrown in here. 97.9 club head speed. So let's just talk about club head speed on these as well. I'm generating a faster club head speed, and my assumption would be due to the lightness of shaft that uh, I'm generating more club head speed, which therefore is having an impact on ball speed. And 137.2 in terms of ball speed, which those things are all good as long as the head is being controlled, obviously. It's no use like swinging like a lunatic in terms of being able to increase club head speed and then losing uh, every. A bit of control out of it but I'm actually you know you can feel where the club head is with this shaft as well um, so three wood five one spin so again that's spinning very very high indeed and, and certainly popping the ball up there 202 on average carry um, 116 peak height and this was one where there was a noticeable difference in terms of um, the spin number was be getting, getting too high with this three wood, so that was an issue there. And the same really, I'll throw up the driver numbers at the end. 98.4, which is probably a couple of mile an hour faster than what I would normally generate with my own driver. Uh, 144 ball speed, 3000 spin, not too bad of a spin number I wouldn't suggest with that driver. 236 carry, uh, longest ball being 245 very consistent over launch angle as well if you have a look there uh, peak height 108 it went high again look the idea of the video was um i suppose ultimately a bit of fun uh it was a question mark a question of how can how does a bloke play with a set of ladies golf clubs it started off as simple as that when i started hitting the clubs it was a bit of an eye opener and the question it raised throughout it like i said well when i was having a uh, hitting some shots off camera was just hang on a minute is this highlighting an issue? Not should men play ladies clubs, but should men be considering lighter shafts and what positive impact that might have on their game in terms of, like I said, being able to generate ball speeds and club head speeds rather uh, in, in uh, and therefore ball speeds. So getting the distances still, but being able to keep a nice rhythmical swing, concentrating on that tempo, uh, 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 more than anything else and improving dispersion in terms of where the ball finished because uh, I'll throw them up now as well I forgot that bit the dispersion on all of these was pretty damn decent for me anyway as ever thank you for watching uh, hit the like button comments down below uh, and get out there try some either ladies clubs or some lightweight shafts